Get away from them. Right now. Honey. Honey, are you okay? It's okay. It's okay. It's me. I'm here. I'm here now. Come here. Come to me. I wouldn't do that if I were you. I understand that you're afraid of me. I suppose I can understand why. However, we have no way of knowing if this is truly the Armin who belongs to this world, do we? After all, the only way for a reflection or any other individual who has fallen victim to an empty mirror is to cast the spell. And how on earth would anyone have cast the spell and brought him forth? The only person who could do that, in this world at least, would be me. And I've been with you this whole time. I certainly couldn't have done this. I can prove that I am the Armin who belongs in this world. Oh, really? And how exactly are you going to do that? After all, I share his memories. I would know if you were lying, and I could certainly prove if you were. Oh, really? Well, I don't think you'll need to prove that I'm lying. Sweetheart, in his pocket is a shard of the mirror whence he came. He took it after he was preparing the mirror to trap me. He knocked me out, brought me to the mirror, and tried to convince me to step inside. When I didn't, he shoved me into it. I escaped by summoning another reflection. I beg your pardon? How... How could you have summoned another reflection? You failed to notice that there was another mirror across from the one we pulled you out of. I managed to... Summon another version of myself from that mirror. She freed me. Wait, she freed you? There's... Never mind. Whether or not there is a female version of you in one of these worlds is the least of our concerns. How exactly are we supposed to believe you? Empty your pockets. Excuse me? You heard me. You brought that shard of the mirror everywhere. You kept it in your pocket so that I could see and hear everything that you were saying and doing with our sweetheart. So empty your pockets. If there isn't a shard of the mirror in there, then you'll know I'm lying. But if there is, everyone in this room will know exactly what you did to me. Very well. If you insist. I do, in fact, have a shard of the mirror in my pocket. However, my dear, I would advise you against making any assumptions about what happened. After all, I don't think you want to speak ill of the person currently holding a sharp object to your throat. Do you think that would be wise in this situation? <gasps> You let them go right now. 
And why should I do that? Everything was fine until you showed up again. I was... I was finally trying to understand why they're so scared of me. I was finally getting to explain that, that I would never hurt them. And now you are going to ruin everything. All because... All because I share your obsession with them. All because I am as jealous and as hateful as you are deep down in your heart. I have no intention of letting them go now. Not unless you do something to earn their freedom. What exactly do you want from me? You know precisely what I want from you. That mirror is still empty. It's still so hungry for a soul like ours. I am going to walk with you, and I'm going to bring them along with me. And you are going back in that mirror. What makes you think they won't try to summon me again? They... they might be able to free me this time. Oh, I don't think so. Because as soon as you step through the glass, I am going to destroy the mirror like I should have done the first time. But I still wanted a chance to gloat to you. I still wanted to make sure you knew that they were mine and mine alone. But now I don't need to. You will always know. So unless you want me to cut their pretty little throat, I would recommend you start walking. Okay. Okay, fine. I am so, so sorry about this. Don't give me that look. Don't give me that look. I have to do this. I have to. I can't just... I can't let him hurt you. Tick-tock, Armin. Your time is running out. Start leading the way. Okay, okay, I'm going, I'm going. What if... What if we run into someone on our way there? We won't. Don't worry. The halls have been rather quiet recently. I haven't heard anyone walking through here. Aside from you, of course. I'm certain we'll be fine. All right. If you're sure. It's... It's just in here, right? Exactly. How foolish do you believe me to be? I... I'm sorry? You... Have walked directly to Hanji's office. Do you think that the risk of being caught will stop me from doing this? I. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I. I'm going to the right room now. I promise. I'm so so sorry. Please, please don't hurt them. Please. You have been warned for the last time. Go to the proper room, or else. Okay. Okay. I tried. I tried, sweetheart. I... Please, please forgive me for this. There we are. That's much better, isn't it? 
Now, there's the mirror. You know what you need to do. Yes. Yes. I know what I need to do. But... Oh, for goodness sake, what? I... I just want to kiss them goodbye. Please. That will make them happy. Don't you want that? Don't you want them to have one last kiss from the person they love? Fine. But if you try anything, know that my hand still holds the shard of mirror to their throat. Try to take them from me, and my hand might just slip in a way that no one will enjoy. Right. Right, of course. I... I won't try anything. I swear. Sweetheart. I... I love you. So... So much. No matter what is waiting for me, on the other side of that mirror. I am never going to stop trying to find my way back to you. Even if it drives me mad, I promise you. Uh, are you... Are you okay? There's... There's a spot of light on the floor. It's... Reflecting off of something. I... I can't keep my eyes off of it. What... What are you talking about? There's a light. Don't you see it? It's... It's getting... So... Difficult. What? What's getting difficult? Why is your hand shaking? Please, please be careful. You could hurt them. I... I can't hold him back or keep him in his basket anymore. Meow. 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 <sighs> what are you waiting for? Push him in. Oh, right. <sighs> <sighs> oh my... Oh my god. Did you... You broke the mirror that you came from. How... How are you going to get back? Don't worry about that. Are you alright? Good. Good. You had me worried for a moment. I really thought that you were going to step into the mirror. I know. I... I had to believe that I was going to, otherwise he would have seen right through me. We do share memories, after all. I... I'm sorry that I frightened you. I did see the signal you were giving me. I just... I had to act shocked long enough for Mr. Whiskers to really think that... that I didn't know what was going on. So that he wouldn't... give control back to him. I understand that now. You certainly did well. He's gone now. At least, until... Until... Until what? Until someone removes this mirror from its current place and... Oh, God. And places it in front of a window or a mirror or... Or anything else 
that can provide a reflection. He'll do exactly what I did. That's right. He knows you very well. He knows what you did, and he knows that he can do the same. Unless, of course... Unless... Unless... What? You know what you need to do. You know what needs to be done in order to trap him forever. I... Honey... I need you to decide this. You said when you first met him that... that you loved both of us. But then he told me that you didn't seem as calm around him as you did around me. If you truly still love him, I won't shatter the mirror. I won't force you to let go of him forever. So just tell me, do you still love him? Sweetheart? Sweetheart, what are you- <gasps> Well, I think you have your answer, don't you? Yes. Yes, I think I do. I am so, so proud of you, honey. And I am so, so, so sorry. I should have, I should have done a better job protecting you. I am so, so sorry. I promise I will never let anything like this happen to you again, okay? I swear on my life, I will never let anything like this happen to you again, okay? There is just one more issue that needs to be resolved. Oh, right, right, of course. You... You need a way to return to your world, don't you? Yes, I do. I... I'm sorry, but... I don't know of a way to get you back to your world without... Without the mirror that brought you here. I think I might know a way. However, there is some small risk with it. What is it? We needn't attach the pieces to each other. However, we need to arrange the pieces so that the mirror is complete again. If we lay it all on the floor, perhaps I can step back into my world. I... I don't know... How well that would work. After all, this spell, it's... It's supposed to be permanent, but... But after... I took his place in that mirror, he was able to take my place once the spell was used on me. I know it's a lot to ask of you. Especially after everything you've been through. But please, please return the favor that I did for you. Help me get back to the world I belong to.